Hello guys, this is an introduction to my upcoming episodes. So if for, for the upcoming episodes, I'll be covering how to make a live 2D project out of uh, anime captured images, all right? So uh, a lot of uh, people are sending me questions asking about what can they do with live 2D if they're not an artist, they don't have digital skills, uh, digital art skills, they don't have um, artists work with them and maybe they're programmers game developers or uh they just want to make life your projects with their favorite anime characters all right is that possible and that is the question i'm answering too now i've tested it myself and this is as far as i can go with just photoshop with just my mouse with no drawing tablet and uh with no original drawing so i'm just screen capturing things from the anime I cut them up, make them into layers, and turn them into a uh, fully animated live 2D model. All right, as we can have a quick look, uh, it follows my mouse to look at different directions. Uh, it looks towards my mouse. It, it can do the mouth, there are different expressions, and there's physics in the hair, and there's a little bit of breathing idle movement right there. And um, yeah, just basically most of the stuff that I could do with my normal projects can be done even if I don't draw or I draw minimal, all right? Because I, I wouldn't say you don't need to draw completely. Like if you look at the ear right here behind the ears, you can see a little bit of patching, the hair at the bottom like around the neck. You can see a little, little bit of patching. I did those with my mouse, but um, I mean, you don't need a pen and you don't need like years of training. Uh, in arts too in order to do those all right it's just a little bit of uh, patching for cover up and it's not even perfect yet because like I forgot to patch this part of the hair if you can see the ponytail right there uh, there is a there's a, a black dot right there that's actually the original shoulder and I forgot to paint over it so now the shoulder color is still right there and those are little things you need to work on it is quite some hard work you might take up to 10 hours easily. You can add, um, you know, take up 10 hours to do something like this, especially for the first time, you expect 15 to 20 hours, all right? But take your time, put in effort. I mean, it's your favorite character, all right? And you can make it into your own uh, live 2D model. You can make it talk, you can throw it into face rig and do all crazy stuff with it. And, you know, it's really cool. So, uh, I mean, this is experimental and there's still room for improvement, but let's see how far uh, we can go with it um, in, in this tutorial, okay? Um, so let's take a look at the uh, Photoshop materials. As you can see, there are these are the images I use. I uh, watched one episode of this uh, new, one of the animes from this new season um, by Kiyoani, and uh, the character is Mai. And I I saw some nice uh, like for like uh, angles that I can capture from episode one. So I screen cap them. I um, put them up, lay out, lay them up. Uh, you know, lay them in, in this canvas. And uh, I didn't even use most of them. I just mainly use these three. And I borrowed the mouth from this one. I think I took the eye close closing eyes uh, from this one and this one and the rest of them are just for my own references uh, I don't I don't need them in in the actual model all right so I think around five images that's these are good enough to go so not much really it's just one episode that's all you need and then let's take a look at the live 2d modeler and let's look at the actual model and since I use Photoshop and the script, when I imported the PSD file, everything is already laid out, put in places, and cut up for me. All right, all the polygons are in. All I had to do was to put them in the right category for my own convenience. Um, so let's look at the parameters. This is for angle X and angle Y. As you can see, we can do the uh, all eight directions fine. And then we have the angle Z for the neck rotation. And then there's eye open close. Now I can do slowly as you can see how much detail I can put into it with just those uh, anime captures, all right? 
and this is the both eyes and then we got the eyeball standard eyeball movement and we got the brow fine with that uh, I haven't even put in the um, brow angle and deformation I only have the positioning and then I most of the time went into the mouth because it is like the compatibility between different shots in anime um, may not be perfect and I had to do some tweaking and a lot of patching work right here because I wanted detail it depends on how much you want right um, I with just minute with all the restrictions are from uh, how well you can capture from the anime and the less you have the more work you need to put into this in order to make it look nice decent as you can see I can do different forms different levels and different shapes all right and then um, there's body X up and down body Y rotation and I can do the body Z which should be a, a, a movement towards the camera all right and there's a little bit of breathing I like I don't like a lot of breathing uh, motions I like just minimal and uh, that's how it works and then there's the standard hair movement for front left right and the ponytail right there in the back and that's all I needed for the model that's what I and this is this is what it turns into and um, that's all for today in next episode I will go through I'll go through the process of selecting um, images from uh, anime all right to make sure you know what you need um, for your best usage so I'll see you guys in the next episode.